Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Chaotic Committee and all of the wonderful scalding dupes. We're healing them as fast as we can, slowly working out how to get in here in a better way. I finally got through enough scaldings to get in a door, so we now have temperature controls. So things in here are much more reasonable. And right now I'm working on a better entry. So what I think I need to do is put in that tile, then I can move this ladder over and then I can have a better entryway. That's the plan. We are working on food storage up here in the chlorine room. And if they mopped correctly, yep, there's a little blob of super coolant right there. So then I can put that block in. We're going to end up with a bit of a chlorine explosion and that's perfectly fine by me. All right, that's in. And now I can move this ladder over. It's just, it's been one of those struggles of just moving one block at a time, trying not to let the steam out. There have been a couple of reloads of like, oops, <laughs> they did that in the wrong order. Let's just reload. Oh, uh, the pips. Ooh, you're growing. You're not an adult yet. Uh, how close are you? You're just about there. I forgot to let these pips out of the stored container, so yeah, those pip eggs died. That's fine, you can keep reloading that. And I wanna plant the top row first. Yeah, the door doesn't have power, but it's fast enough. I could probably set this to like 180. That's in, I need this. Shipping rail is there, okay. Just making sure I got the food storage side sorted. And come over here. I don't know why they like just swim. Uh, I think I hit the space bar in the middle of talking to you. I don't know why they like <laughs> swimming in magma, but they just absolutely love going all the way down into the magma and then building about them. Dupes, man. I don't know what we print them out of, but they are, they're tough and really dumb. But so far they haven't died. All right, that's done. You're there. So now theoretically, put tiles there, dig down there, there, and there. I should have a good liquid lock. Uh, and the plumbing is absolutely insane what, once we get to that point. Oh my god. I, I've got cooling going on in the base and it's <laughs> it's a glorious thing to bowl. Yeah, perfect. Now I just need to dig that. Perfect. Now even if they flash that, there's this other bit to hold it till I can get more super coolant in there. Okay, plumbing wise. Look at this gloriousness. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, the rest of it's just a cooling loop. I switched it over to polluted water to slowly get everything down in temperature. But this bit, trying to fit around the chlorine vent, the clean room, the... <laughs> it's... Oh, I love it. All right, you have... Yep, yeah, you've got the super coolant in you. Set you to super coolant. I just want more super coolant in here. Go like that. Okay, we are running out of regular rock, but obsidian should work. I burned a lot on piping. All 
Alright, and that liquid lock is in, so we can... I could probably just get rid of all of the chlorine by doing this. I just want to make sure there's enough liquid here that if they run through with something hot, they don't end up uh, vaporizing the super coolant. Alright, and let's turn the super coolant on. Yeah, getting around all of the plumbing. Oh, so much fun. Yeah, I just want these numbers to go up. Right, that's in, that's in, that's bricked. We can do that. Hopefully there's enough super coolant in there. There should be. Oh, it's slightly more than one full tile. Yep, now it's coming up. Perfect. Okay, now I feel better about my liquid lock. Okay. Here is a brand new frustration. I was going to try to do something elegant and awesome, and why do you have the wrong liquid? Some super coolant got up into my oxygen. How? At some point, I must have crossed a pipe. I mean... Look at my piping. There's no way I could have possibly got a pipe crossed. <laughs> Good God. All right, let's replace these with... I can just put doors in there. Get in there and mop that up. Okay, why are you stuck? You have a growing tree yet? All right, let's do this so you'll pick up the tree. You'll pick up the seed. Oh, there's all my super coolant. All right, the hydrogen should stay nice and locked. That should be fine. I mean, I kind of want to pick up the super coolant, but I also just don't care. If they want to grab it for some reason, then we'll just have some power doors that can run through. All right, back to what I was saying before I got distracted. I was going to try to do something elegant. So up here, I've got my targeting beacon. I've got a... Oh, I call it tree water. I'm like, what the hell is tree water? <laughs> That's what I call it. So I've got the uh, beacon from their automation. So I have the broadcaster, automation broadcaster. That goes all the way down here to this liquid tank. So my plan was, this liquid tank is empty, send me polluted water. Source of polluted water is over here. I've got this big polluted water vent, big polluted water tank. I thought those were empty. I was like, perfect. Went and planted a wheezewort. We've got this, blah, blah, out of range. I didn't know that these had a range. I thought the whole point was they were long distance. The issue is, there's nothing closer. Like, either one of these planets are probably both going to be out of range. And... They don't tell you what the range is. 
just out of range. So you go into the documentation. Yeah, just says exposed to space. So I don't know what the range on these are, but the one time I was like, oh, I can build this whole automation to automatically shoot over water, didn't work. So to fix that, I put on a timer. Now this timer has to be green long enough for it to go through its clean cycle and shoot. Otherwise, it turns off. So let's set that to 35. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any water until I came over and saw that. Alright, through the save. Let's brick you in. Oh, and we need to get hydrogen over here. Uh, how much? Eh, we got plenty of sedimentary and we're just going to destroy it anyway. That's all the sedimentary. Look at that. Yeah, and I built the mini battery stack because that's all I could fit to get out of the way of the rocket exhaust. So we're sucking in backup solar from those arrays and distributing the rest of the power. But then we can finally get food storage and then I can work on getting a rancher over here for the pips. All this insulated is put in, so now there's tons of stuff behind here, so I don't want to just hit destruct all. Actually, what I'll probably do, oh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo my piping. I want to move the carbon skimmer down here. God, I really hate this dark corner. I can turn that around, right? I can do this, turn it, yes. Perfect. Alright, we'll get this sorted. Okay, I think I got around all the issues. Got around the automation wire. We've got power. And we rerouted the plumbing. Over here, we dumped all the seeds. Hopefully the pip will start planting them. And more hurt dupe. All right, so the next thing is food prep, which will be up here, and then we'll move the triage cart. Hopefully they don't just like running through all of the hot stuff all the time. All right, now the pip is planting. Get some hydrogen in here. And we've got a lot of heat to go before any of this solidifies. Like another 120 degrees. So we got plenty of power, plenty of time. And this should start the hydrogen flowing. Very nice. Alright, this pip has got one more tree to plant. How much rock do I have? You know what? Let's just send over rocks. Like, why am I fighting this? Raw material, igneous rock.
Oh, I don't have this set to a full load. Yeah, let's send that up to just 20. Take care of my rock needs. And done. Alright. So I have to figure out how to get a pip down here. Interesting that, that raw egg has been at 0% for quite some time. It, it doesn't seem to turn into anything. It just stays as raw egg. Weird. Is that a hurt dupe? Nope, he just looks hurt. Okay, a bit more cleanup. I think I need to move this to uh, insulated tiles because I am going to end up cooling down this chlorine. But the hydrogen is all full. Which means we can turn you off and then recycle the hydrogen. I don't really have a good way of doing that. That's alright, we'll do this. Burn it off. Yeah, a little bit of chlorine is getting out, but that's fine. A little bit of oxygen got in, too. And a little bit of automation, and that should be building in this space essentially done till I get the cook over. How's the planting going? Good work, Pips. I wonder if I can trap one. Like, I don't have a rancher, so I don't have a good way of moving one pip to the other place, but if I take out a tile, they'll probably just walk over there. Oh, here comes my rock payloads. Very nice. How? Oh, it's probably from that? I well, they didn't break any pipes. But that needs to be mopped. And we all know just how attentive pips are to doing what we want. We've popped out some tiles, let's see if they move. Are you gonna do it? He's in! The other one's running fast. Nope, you stay in there. One of you stay in there. Haha! -ha! Got him. I think it's the first time Pips have ever done what I wanted them to do. <laughs> These are the best pips I've ever had. Just immediately plant, immediately go where you want them. Why can't all pips behave like this? Our uh, insulation is in. A ah, bit of air up there. I have no way of getting rid of this chlorine, do I? I really don't. I don't know, we'll see if that screws with this sucking up carbon dioxide. Alright, and that's done, that's done, that's done. You need to be finished. Unfortunately, my mechatronics engineer is also my rocket pilot, and I need to get this rocket out of the way. Give an indication of how long my dupes have been here. I've used that much water out of the uh, wall toilet. But I have to rebuild the beds. I had the exosuit forge was in here for a little bit, but we will now sweep everything out of here and then I can send a couple of dupes. I'll probably leave a builder. Yeah, we'll take the mechatronics engineer and the other builder out of here and then bring uh, Nisbet and 
Star Rancher back. These pips have been great. I mean, we're on to the last tree already. Need someone to load up some food. There it is. And they've cleaned up the whole thing. Over here, you. We want... Head back to there. What's your range? 11. I think that's enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, plenty. Crew. Uh, we'll leave... Probably Turner. Yeah, because I'm going to be digging a whole bunch of obsidian. <laughs> really? Oh, they even came back and put on their suit. That's nice of them. Perfect. Turner can then unload stuff. How's the temperature? Oh, that worked out great. So I knew that this door lock would be hot, and that's why the cooling loop runs right behind it with radiant pipe. So that'll get hot for a little bit, and then it will cool right off. Let's set you up to 26. Yeah, the base is all nice and green. That's still a little warm and who cares. And this will slowly come down in temperature. Okay. Well, now we're waiting on dupes to fly and that's just going to take a while. So we'll see you here in a little bit. Just thinking Nisbet's over here. This rocket's good to go. I can swing over, grab more berry sludge, and head to where I want to go. So we are going to grab Nisbet and Hassan, because Hassan can do ranching. And they're going to head there. Oh, no. Cancel. No, they don't need food. They're going, they're taking the short trip to go get food. I was like, oh, I've got the food. Nope, nope, we're good. Mabel. And that means consumable. We have to add Hassan to the ability to eat Barrett Sludge. Stop that. I really hate this double scroll bar thing. So I'm trying to get over here. There we go. Yeah, it's more annoying than it was worth. Yeah, so they just got 0.6 of a cycle. They'll go grab food. Oh, no. That's not the base with the food. That's the base with the food. Okay, well, they'll grab some food here. I forgot, this is the base that has the berry sludge. Too many bases. Yeah, these guys have 800,000 calories of it. So, brief stop off to grab some barbecue, and then we'll grab some berry sludge. What's the magma level over here? starting to come down. Once I get more access to this space, then I can get shipping going. And here we are approaching our fast food restaurant. Maybe. There you are. Mike, they should be coming in with a fast food restaurant. Load up on fuel, load up on liquid oxygen. Don't think I need any water, but whatever. Set you to 
all. And hopefully someone will come deliver some food. You drop the takeout on the floor. <laughs> then, you, then you took it. You dropped the takeout on the floor and then stole some of it. Like, you just can't predict what dupes are going to do. Alright, now we have food. We didn't fill the toilet up with water, but that really doesn't matter. Their toilet's full. But well, let's... And that barbecue is going to go bad fast. But we might as well at least get the barbecue off the floor. Okay, next leg of the trip, 1.4 cycles. And we're coming up on stop two of our food collection trip. See how the heat looks around here. Ah, oh, isn't that glorious? Just that oxygen coming up that chimney. And it warms it up a little bit, but not much. Yep, and all. And just wait for someone to bring all the berry sludge. Why? Oh, why did I set you to sweep only? Yeah, I really don't want you bringing barbecue. That's my bad. And that's gonna be down there and rotting. Good. Yeah, most of that's already rotten because at some point I set that to sweep only and I don't know why. Whatever. They've got 400 some odd thousand calories. You forgot to bring the food. Dupe sometimes. I mean, it says current errand. Perfect. I am sh short a suit. How did that happen? Must have been a worn suit that I didn't notice. It's alright, we'll figure it out at the next planet. Final destination in another 4.2 cycles. And looking at the time, we are going to call that good. I'm going to... This base is settled. I mean, once the rancher gets here to cook and ranch, then in terms of this base being permanently livable, it's done. I mean, the next goal is solidify this, get to the tungsten volcanoes, feed the tree, but that's all later issues. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're all just having a wonderful day and enjoyed playing the game. Uh, I'm trying to think of what my next location to go to. It's probably going to be water. It's kind of close by to these other ones. And I might just shoot over here and grab some Niobium. But we'll take a look at that next time.